How can I be saved, and go to heaven instead of hell? The Apostle Paul said, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. 1 Corinthians 15, 3 through 4. That, my friends, is the gospel message given to us by God that is able to save our souls and break the chains of sins in our lives. Now, let's recap. 1. Jesus died and shed his blood for our sins. 2. Jesus was buried for three days in the tomb. 3. Jesus arose from the dead victorious over death, hell, and the grave. Now you may ask, what does that mean to us? As it says above, it is the gospel through which we are saved. Saved from what you may ask. Saved and delivered from eternal separation from God in the lake of fire. You see, my friends, believing the gospel from your heart is how we are saved and forgiven of our sins by God. Listen to Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Remember, Jesus paid our sin debt when he died and shed his blood on the cross, and now offers us his righteousness in return as a free gift. In other words, Jesus is saying, you give me your sins, and in exchange I'll give you my righteousness. All we have to do is receive that gift by faith. There are no amount of good works that will break the chains of sin and get you to heaven. Talk about a great deal. So what are you waiting for? Do you believe the Bible? Do you believe Jesus died for you, was buried, and arose from the grave? Do you want to be forgiven and go to heaven someday? Then call right now, by faith, talk to God and tell him you believe these truths. Talk to him just as you would talk to a friend. He will always listen. 1. Tell him you're a sinner and can't save yourself. 2. Tell him you believe Jesus died for your sins on the cross. 3. Tell him you want to be saved, forgiven, and made part of his family and go to heaven someday. Just as, the publican, a sinner, standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God be merciful to me a sinner. God be merciful to me a sinner. For whosoever, that means you dear friend, shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10:13. Don't put it off any longer I plead with you. Today is the day of salvation. You may not live to see another day. God sent this message just for you. Tomorrow you could be in hell. So by faith, right this minute, believe in Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection, and call upon him. He will surely break those chains of sin, forgive and save you.
That's a promise, and it's impossible for God to lie. Now, if you did call upon Jesus to save you, would you let others know as a witness so we can rejoice with you? Jesus isn't ashamed of you, so you should not be ashamed of him. So if you believe and received the gospel message for the very first time, post in the comments, or simply email these two words. I believe. To this address. GregoryHooker at gmail.com That's GregoryHooker at gmail.com I rejoice in your salvation my friend. I'll send you some material to help you get started in your new life with Christ. I will be waiting for your email to GregoryHooker at gmail.com Feel free to use this gospel track to win your friends and family to Christ.